Welcome back to our channel folks, in this video we are going to be covering the killing fields in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. If you're considering a visit, it's important to understand the tragic history of this site and you will get to see firsthand what you can expect once you enter inside its gates. Join us as we delve into the stories of the victims, walk through the sombre grounds and gain a deeper understanding of the events that transpired here. This is not an easy journey but it is an essential one for all visitors to Cambodia. Together, we'll confront a dark chapter of Cambodia's past and reflect on the importance of remembering and learning from history. We are going to talk about some practical details first, but before that, make sure you give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. The entry fee for the Killing Fields is six US dollars per person, and it's open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. To reach the site, we highly recommend hiring a tuk-tuk for a few hours, which is how most tourists get here. Tuk-tuks are convenient and they are affordable and they're literally everywhere on the streets in Phnom Penh. They will ensure a smooth journey to your destination. The Killing Fields are only a short trip away, located about 12 kilometers from the center of the capital. Our driver waited for us outside and there are a couple of restaurants beside the entrance too, if you need to get lunch, so just arrange that with your driver beforehand. So let's get into the history. The Killing Fields, aka Chong Ek Genocide Killing Fields, hold a tragic past that I believe everyone should learn about and understand. It is the most famous among the 300 sites referred to as the Killing Fields, where the Khmer Rouge carried out the execution of more than 1 million individuals as part of their Cambodian genocide. From 1975 to 1979, Cambodia experienced a period of immense suffering with millions of innocent lives lost. Paul Pot went as far as declaring 1975 as Year Zero, aiming to isolate Cambodia and transform its society based on communist ideals. So what was it like to live under this regime you may wonder? Well, civil and property rights were immediately abolished and any public display of religious beliefs was prohibited. Believing that external influences had corrupted Cambodian society, the new regime began eradicating evidence of western impact evacuating cities and forcibly relocating the urban population to rural areas for insufficient agricultural projects. The consequences of these actions alone would have resulted in a major humanitarian crisis with starvation and disease prevailing. As you explore the site, take time to read the informational signs and listen to the available audio guides which can be purchased at the ticket booth. These resources will provide a deeper understanding of the events that transpired here and help you grasp the magnitude of the tragedy. It really helped me put the things I was seeing in front of me into a much more coherent story. You can get a tour guide to go around with you if that sounds better for you, but what I would say is either get a guide or get an audio guide at least. Also, I want to emphasize the importance of approaching this site with the utmost respect and empathy. It's a chance to reflect on the horrors that humanity is capable of and to promote the values of peace, justice and human rights. The Killing Fields are a painful reminder of the atrocities committed during the Khmer Rouge regime under the leadership of Pol Pot. Cambodia went through one of the darkest chapters in its history. Pot and his government implemented radical policies that resulted in the suffering and deaths of millions of Cambodians. The exact number of people who died at the Chong Ek genocide killing fields is difficult to determine. However, it is estimated that between 17 and 20,000 people were killed and buried in mass graves at this site. Mass graves containing thousands of bodies were found here following the collapse of the Khmer Rouge regime. Among the deceased were individuals who were once political prisoners held by the Khmer Rouge at the S21 prison centre and other detention centres in Cambodia. Check the link above for a video on that prison. As you walk through the killing fields, you witness the sombre remnants of this tragic period. Mass graves and memorials will greet you, serving as a poignant reminder of the lives lost. It's crucial to approach the site with deep respect and empathy for the victims who perished here. Paul Pot, along with other infamous figures in the Khmer Rouge government, orchestrated a brutal regime that subjected the Cambodian people to forced labour, torture and execution. Innocent lives were tragically lost in unimaginable numbers during this period of terror. In 1979, after the Khmer Rouge was defeated by Vietnamese forces, the movement's leaders escaped into the jungles on Cambodia's border with Thailand, where Pol Pot tried his best to lead a legitimate government. 
He later died in 1998 while under house arrest. As you make your way around the premises, you will encounter the mass graves which held the bodies of many people. You will see remnants of human bone, as well as memorials to the children who did not escape the violence. What really stands out at Cheong Ek is a memorial marked by a Buddhist stupa. The stupa has acrylic glass sides and is filled with over 5,000 human skulls. Some lower levels are open during the day so that the skulls can be seen directly. Many have been shattered or smashed in. You can enter inside the lower level and it is here where you will feel the full tragedy of the events that occurred. You can pay for a flower and leave it as a memorial to the victims. I hope this video has provided you with a good insight into what happened at the Killing Fields and I hope that it will help you in planning a trip to Pen on Pen. It would be a complete understatement to say it opened my eyes to the sheer scale and horror which occurred in Cambodia and it left me stunned by learning more deeply about this shadow on Cambodia's past. Still, I honestly would encourage all travellers to make the short trip from Pen on Pen to Chong Ek Genocidal Centre and experience it for themselves. Thank you for watching and I wish you a meaningful visit to the killing fields in Pen on Pen. If you enjoyed this video then you'll probably want to watch my other video up here on the S21 prison in Pen on Pen. Click here and let me know in the comments what you think. Peace.